top five coins below a dollar to buy for 2020. Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel and in today's video guys I'll be looking at out of hundreds of thousands of coins that we've got, I'll, I'll talk about five coins that I think has got really good potential for next year guys. Before I start the video as usual guys I'd like to say that please have some money in Bitcoin. I like to be mainly invested in bitcoin and trade altcoins but these are five projects that i like i've done my research in especially a couple of them i actually really like again i don't know if they'll work out in the future uh, but you might want to watch it you might find out about a coin that you've never heard of and you might like and they might be the next big thing we don't know this is a market that we're in it's speculation you look you read read about the coin read their white paper research their team uh, look at you know the tokenomics and how it works and what the value proposition and try to make a judgment it is very difficult to do but i'm going to give it my best shot look at five coins below a dollar so very cheap at the moment that can become potentially something in the near future again they might even take longer than 2020 these projects in stocks you know they take years to work out so this is more about from an investment point of view rather than uh, just quick short term trading that my channel is mainly about. Uh, before I get into the video again another thing that I'd like to talk to you guys about is do check out my trading versus investing video. Uh, in that video I talk about this difference and you need to know about it. There's difference between trading and investing. So these are my long term predictions for coins that I like. Some of the coins I'm invested in I'm completely transparent in, in some of the coins I'm invested in so I'm not trying to you know tell you guys to buy my bags I'm not trying to do that please do your own research before you buy so without further ado let's get into the video the first coin I'd like to talk about is basic attention token so this is a coin I really like I've tried out the brow uh, brave browser it is a coin that I actually really like so the format of this video guys what we'll do is we'll look at will reveal what the coin is talk talk briefly about the fundamentals what it is and then i'll look at the charts so i'll do that guys for the five coins i'll try to keep it between 20 minutes to half an hour so i won't go over five minutes on each coin or each each project and then like to do the fundamentals and also the technical analysis at the end and do a bit of a price prediction so guys let's have a look at the first one a basic attention token so they're try they're in the advertising market guys and advertising is very lucrative as you might know you know google facebook that that's their main income guys and um, but the model hasn't really changed and and google and facebook are take, making a lot of money and these platforms are taking the money but the users who actually watches the ads might be taken advantage of so Br brave is trying to come into this market and trying to change the market again you can read this yourself and then you know it's not just that they're making money we live in a capitalist society and you know people it will, will make money whichever people are prepared to pay for but they, they can be dishonest we've heard about Facebook and Google with data privacy issues and how they're taking advantage of of normal innocent people so this model hasn't really changed and digital marketing uh, can be hit or miss but the, what we can't deny is the, the more money in advertising is going into digital marketing rather than newsletters and, and boards that people advertising boards that people used to do but in this in this sort of marketing guys there's no incentive for the users so the advertisers um, you know are paying and the publisher is probably getting some money so if you watch my videos and get some uh, I'll get some ad money it's really minimal guys it doesn't really even pay for my cup of coffee it is so it's not really worth it and then the users are not really getting anything so this is kind of the dynamic guys advertising is selling their product advertising is getting their commission from the publisher what is incentivizing the users to watch the ads in the first place and you know so if it's a good content so if it's a good content I, I like to think my channel is quite good content you guys are happy to watch the ads they put on my channel to watch the video but guys you guys are not being incentivized to watching uh, watching it so uh, brave is trying to change that and he's also you know de trying to deal with the violation of privacy issues as well so they're trying to do something really interesting and uh, me for once I actually really like it and it's probably one of my top coins that I'm looking out for It's actually got a use case uh, going forward 
So what is basic attention token? It is a digital digital advertising token which is built on the Ethereum blockchain. The purpose of BAT token is to create an ad exchange marketplace which will connect advertisers, publishers and users in a decentralized manner just had a sip of coffee the purpose of bat is to monetize user attention and remove all the other needless expenditure related to ad network bat token bat token takes care of the following serves as a unit of exchange for cutting out the middleman rewards users publishers to and adv uh, ad advertisers users get paid for giving attention to ads publishers get a proportion of the ad revenue as is the norm advertisers get a better return on in uh, return on investment for their content so the bat team created brave an in-house native browser which is integrated with the bat system bat tokens are the native currency that will be used for the used by the system so i highly recommend you check them out guys if you're interested in cryptocurrency blockchain and we can see the brave your browser is actually profitable you know the people are using it and the, the the user attention is increasing as well some of the features of it is privacy enhanced advertising uh, advertisement matching and you know as it's decentralized people will have less influence which is something that we like to see so google and facebook can you know literally run the world really we've seen it in in the donald trump issues you know with elections with with a lot of things they can get involved with with the decentralized one you'd like to think that there was be, there would be less manipulation an improved experience users don't have to reach out to external servers for every page uh, for every page load so this is just a quick update guys i think i've made another video on bat as well i might get i mean my friend is quite knowledgeable on it but um but my knowledge on bat is quite is better than some of the other projects again i made trader first but bat is a coin that i like and i am invested in bat so that's my first coin that I wanted to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, the first coin. Before I get to the next stage, uh, let me have a look at the chart as promised. I'll be, I'll take a quick look at the chart. I won't spend too much time. We'll look at the higher time frame. So bat, I traded bat here. If you remember, guys, we took a breakout here. I hope, I mean, I hope you guys are subscribed to my channel because bat, we traded it really well and it's been one of my better trades. Up, I think I've got a breakout video about bat uh two trades i took one was here more profitable this one wasn't as profitable but i think still wasn't nice i think i took five percent out of this uh, it was a almost a 30 percent rally now bat is below that red zone guys i'm not sure where it's going to bounce from potentially uh, there's some support here guys where it might look to bounce from but if you're you know from a trading point of view if you're from an investment again i recommend you watch my video between investment and and um and trading from an investment point of view you could look to buy because it's cheap but if it can get above this red zone then that's where i'd look to add because from a technical analysis i like to combine my fundamentals and technicals my best trades like rvn from from last year they worked quite well because the fundamentals and and the technicals match so that is something that i like to keep an eye out for so that's my first coin uh, let's go on to the second one and the second coin we'll talk about i've already revealed it is polymath and I, I wasn't sure whether to include this or not because the market cap is quite low on this but this is a coin i mean i always tell all my you know people on my educational group if you're interested in learning a full trading course you can join my educational group it's a full trading course for you know a few cups of coffee coffee worth a week uh, I, I highly recommend you check it out rather than lose money and trade blindlessly trade with a strategy that i'm teaching but using my strategy guys were saying why are you still hodling this coin i shouldn't really be hodling this because uh, i don't do i don't do hodling i try to trade i, I really do not do, i say tell people never to hodl but this coin i've actually bought quite a bit um and i think i'm still average on i'm down on this coin but let's not talk about that this is a more fundamental video and i'll talk about why i like polymath so polymath is a security token and i believe that in the future there's going to be massive tokenization of equities and we're going to see tokenization of everything and that's my vision of the world again i might be wrong in that but if it does happen it will be profitable and it's something that i'd like to see as well so it's a st st20 token standard standard to ensure compliance with government regulations when issuing digital securities so you know the icos they're not really 
regulated they're not they're not um they're, there's regulatory issues with the icos and obviously ethical issues as well with sdos there isn't because you know you could own a thousand xrps but you've got no stake in ripple so you know polymath is with is sto coin the security tokens uh, they were massive last year and i thought last year was going to be the year of security tokens and and I, unfortunately it didn't work very well tezos is another one that i was invested i traded it more than investing polymath is the one that i picked because i know someone who actually inv is involved with the project again i'm not shilling this coin guys please do your own research do not just buy because i'm um i've got some please do your own research so you know it, it, it with the ICOs guys we've had lots of ICO scams and and the issue the, the solution to all this ICO is a security token and the rise of security tokens and I recommend you look into it I'm not going to go into too much detail into what the security token is but it build a solid blockchain ecosystem and and the SCPO Thomas Borrow believes STO can change the investment industry at its core, but it's very complicated. But if they can deliver, it will be great. So the total supply of Polymath is um I think it's at one billion. It's one billion. The the peak price so far has been a dollar. Poly is created through proof of stake. Although Poly created the uh, ST20 token standard, it stakes using Poly using ERC20 token based on the Ethereum. Poly is the first ICO uh, to actually be registered with Securities Exchange and is fully set compliant. So that is an important thing. Poly fuels transactions on Polymath network, just like if ETH does for Ethereum, and. Um, it's a utility token poly is supported by any erc20 compatible uh, wallet if you want to store it so it talks about the wild the the, the reason for for security tokens or reason for demand of security tokens you know the wild west of crypto with icos people raising crazy amounts of money you know sec uh, have you know had rate created the securities exchange and it it tries to mandate laws uh, for managing these securities to maintain public trust uh, publicly held companies those who sell shares uh, to the general public or the open market are required by sec and its uh, and its laws to file registering statements for for newly offered securities you know some cryptocurrencies claim that they're not securities but some if you look at the I think is uh, I can't remember what's the law it's called Howey law I think a yeah, lot of it will fall under security so there's a massive regulatory issue so uh, that's why I've, I've invested in in polymath but from a trading point of view once the money dried up in bitcoin and cryptocurrency and new money wasn't coming in and knew that the price wasn't going down navigating all this information takes help of skilled professional and that's where polymath network comes in poly has four layers blockchain um in in his blockchain protocol application legal and exchange three parties are then involved in transaction investor developer and issuer pay poly to create and issue security tokens so they they can really help massively with lots of team that i know people are looking to use polymath because it's dedicated to security tokens poly is full stack sd platform that makes it easy for anyone even without a, any technical knowledge to issue security so using a decentralized model with digital ledger poly is basically a securities in a box platform that is used beyond blockchain to uh, to the foundation of wall street itself here are the fields presented when you create a token on the polymath network once a token is created you'll shop for legal delegates using your own due diligence and price uh, price shopping you then pay your fee to the lawyer uh, prepare your legal documents to register with the sec and other regulated uh, other regulators to remain compliant and there's competition as well guys uh, t0 i've talked about that guys that's a another coin and there's a few other ones that are looking to do something similar so this is uh, quite interesting guys like i said it's a coin that i really like guys and it, although it offers different crypto products the success of polymath hinges on the strength of its ecosystem just like ethereum these partnerships are a good sign uh, the industry like what polymath is doing um so you know these this t0 i mean people you could look at it in in the cryptocurrency market guys you could say whether whether you're a competitor whether there's any competition or we're all in this together so t0 is another security token 
but it's also got a partnership with polymath also using also these guys as well they've got partnerships with polymath so they're actually trying to deliver something and this pro project is not dead uh, you know there's news always coming out polymath charles hodgkinson team up on security uh, token blockchain they've also locked up 75 million tokens to reduce supply so this coin is actually you know doing things that would like to see so this is just a summary of poly uh, I'll, I'll probably spending too much time on poly i'd, I'd move away from it but with this uh, pre pieces in place poly is at the forefront of an important rush in blockchain industry compliance is crucial step to mainstream crypto acceptance and polymath may have the formula to lead the charge the danger of being in front however is being shot in the back or passed up by those behind you we'll wait to see how well polymath sustains over time so that is my update on polymath i really like this coin and the chart i'm going to show is not really going to look very good but it's a coin that I like. And then if you want to read more about security tokens, you could definitely look into this article. This is a really good article that talks about it. I'd like to just read this bit out for you. Paper equity tokenization doesn't really add anything. Um, in his opinion, all that does is needless up execute a system that the vast majority of investors know and are familiar with trying to token as equity market is more complicated for investors they can buy the exact same asset through their normal channels and hodlers won't be able to realize any benefits tokenization offers so you know, this is what kind of poly is aiming uh, in this industry so it's very interesting and um, i'm definitely going to keep an eye out for poly in the future and i do keep an eye out, uh, on the chart from now and again I've, I've got it on my watch list so i try to look at it i'd say weekly to see what poly is doing at the moment guys it's literally in a downfall it's dropping like a stone <laughs> so it's not really that good i think i sold uh, a lot of it in in loss uh, during this pump because i was like we're not going to get a higher low and higher high so i'm going to sell um, I'm going to look to buy again because this is a coin that I like and I still own some. I mean, I'm probably going to ride them to zero now if they do not work. And you can see how how it's worked with the 618 I showed you on BAT. So this is what's looking for a poly, guys. But it's a coin that I like um, and I think it might be might be able to deliver something in the future. If you've got another security token that you think is better, do comment below and we can have a discussion. So that's my thoughts on poly guys and in simple trading terms again it goes back to trading it's potentially forming a base here if it breaks below it will probably dump but if it does something like a higher low and a higher high i'll definitely look to buy poly and i'll keep you guys up to date if you join my facebook group you know it's completely free or you you're taking my trading codes and you can do this yourself uh, with my help if you have any questions you can ask me but if you're in our free facebook group guys um i, I like to, I'll, I'll keep you guys up to date with regular posts and trading updates and trading signals another sip of coffee and on to the next one the next one that i like is kucoin shares kucoin guys it is similar it's an exchange based token and the reason i like it is to do with binance so i'm still mainly invested in binance but after the rally i made a video saying that i'm looking to sell and why i'm looking to sell binance now i'm looking at kucoin to do something similar i won't be able to chart kucoin because i don't believe they're on yeah they're not on here so i won't be able to chart kucoin unfortunately but let, if i just quickly brief you uh, update you guys it's an exchange coin and you know hodlers of the token are able to re re get rewards of 50 percent of overall trading fees so there's a reason for people to own a uh, coup coins you know it's actually that similar to kind of binance coin but it's better because you actually get some of the get the get some of the success get get rewarded with some of the success of the company rewards received in form of dividends are proportionate to the amount of coup coins one holds it's the reason for you to hold it and with binance shutting down u.s customers there might be some u.s investors going to, going into coup coin and trading so that's another reason that the volume might go up although i hold coup coin i don't actually um, trade on kucoin because the volume is quite low you might get stuck into some really bad coins and you might struggle to get out that's just my thoughts but you know if they can deliver they might be really good but if bnb you know bnb and litecoin have been the two main coins that's led the bull move in 2019 
so BNB is potentially coming into a zone where I'll be looking to buy um, but KuCoin is it from an investment point of view if KuCoin can do half of what BNB has done uh, KuCoin can be a, a lot more valuable in the future I don't know if it will but it's something that I'm keeping an eye out for for some for very similar reasons you know Binance hit $40 KuCoin is nowhere near Binance don't get me wrong but with Binance stopping US investors and they're one of the big players who bring the volume in if some of them go to KuCoin and KuCoin keeps improving, offers better coins, better uh, interface, then KuCoin could have a bright future. So quick update on KuCoin. So I've covered three coins up to now. Basic attention token, Polymath and KuCoin. But please do, don't just take this video and buy KuCoin and never look. Have Always keep an eye with what's going on with the investment. You know, if the volume dies out in KuCoin, then I'll be looking at Binance coin more. So you need to look at both guys. Next one is our favorite Cardano guys. Um, if you followed me, I've taken three trades. I think one worked out extremely well. One did okay. One was a loss. Um, but Cardano, from a fundamental point of view, is still so interesting. So I mean, this bit. I mean, Coin Market Cap does quite well in summarizing. So I'm gonna read this bit, guys. Cardano is a decentralized platform that will allow complex programmable transfer of value in secure and scalable fashion it is reportedly the first blockchain platform to evolve evolve out of a scientific philosophy and a research first driven approach one of its one of the first to be built on in the haskell programming language cardano is developing a smart contract platform which seek to deliver more advanced features than any protocol previously developed the development team cons consists of large global collective of expert engineers and researchers the pro Protocol reportedly features a layered blockchain software stack that is flexible, scalable, and is developed with the most rig rig rigorous can't read you know when I'm making YouTube video rigorous academic and commercial software standards in the industry Cardano will use demo democratic governance system that will that allows the project to evolve over time and fund itself sustainably through a treasury system so Cardano is actually that they're, they're promising the world to you and um, well to us really what they're promising is something crazy they're the next generation the third generation so you know first was Bitcoin then Ethereum and Cardano takes it to the next level with scalable and security what you know cryptocurrency the main goal from my understanding is going into these cryptocurrency meetups and events is to achieve decentralization scalability and security and no not, no one has come close to delivering all three ethereum and bitcoin you know they're they're quite decentralized you know ripple you say you could argue that they're centralized and you know cardano is promising that and people that i know just to head the heads up that people that i know in the market they they actually use ethereum and i was surprised to see how much ethereum is used um i don't know too many people using ada at the moment they're promising big things their price is high compared i mean it's not the price guys it's the market cap the market cap is you know over a billion so it is quite high but they are promising big things that's why people are invested in it but they're not really delivered as much as we would like if you're interested there's a blockchain uh, course that i'm actually going to look to take uh, you could learn a lot more about blockchains but this is kind of a quick update on on cardano what they're trying to do I'm, I'm giving you a very high level goal i've done a full research on cardano previously guys um, so you can go check that video out. I'm going to quickly flick through some if see if some key points come out and I'll read that out to you. So Cardano Foundation is a non-profit regulated entity that is a custodial organization of Cardano. The main function is to standardize, protect and promote the Cardano protocol technology. I think it's similar to the T Litecoin Foundation to what Litecoin does to Litecoin Foundation. So, you know, we talked about Bitcoin and money transfers and Ethereum came and smart contracts came. And then this Cardano is the next level, the third generation. And what they're trying to solve is scalability, interoperability and sustainability. Cardano is a unique in that sense. It is built on a scientific philosophy and peer reviewed academic research. All the engineering that goes into it has the ultimate goal of high assurance code. Their team is very very strong and what the the 
the organization how it works i mean i've worked in big corporations and um, the organization structure how they work and the the philosophy is quite good uh, the team wants to adhere to a set of principles and philosophies they do not set out with proper with a proper roadmap or a white paper instead they focus on collection of design principles engineering best practice and avenues for exploration some of the principles you can read here i'm not gonna bore you with reading it all so we talked about scalability um it's you know a three-headed hydra to, so to speak one needs to take care of the three separate elements transactions per second network and data scaling and it's not just about scale scalability scalability with decentralization and uh, security so it talks about throughput bitcoin and ethereum for now at least follows a proof of work protocol uh uh, Cardano hopes to solve the problem with the consensus mechanism. Uh, Euboros, uh, Euroboros, it is it is a provable secure secure proof of stake algorithm, um, and you know Euroboros was actually peer reviewed and approved during crypto 2017. It talks about problem with proof of work um, and again we, we know there's issues with proof of work but we don't know anything better at the moment so it, you know we know about the amount of fish it, how it how inefficient it is how much energy we spend on proof of work but we have to you know we've not really found anything different that's better in that sense from my understanding that can deliver decentralization security and scalability so it talks about proof of stake validators will have some lock up some of the coins at stake after that they will start validating the blocks meaning when they discover a block which they think can uh, be added to the chain they will validate it by placing a bet on it if the blocks gets appended then the validators will get a reward uh, pro proportionate to their bet um, i'm not going to go into all of that guys it's going to take for long i wanted to keep this video around half an hour i didn't want to go over so again this is very complicated but it's really interesting and this is a project that you know it's not just been left alone people are actually working it the examples that they give is quite interesting interoperability is something the next level thing a lot of coins are trying to achieve like icx it's a co another coin that i'm interested in aeon is another one and it helps with you know the, the, the it reduces vulnerability with you know hacking and blackout periods and um, so what they're trying to do is very very interesting and, and i'll definitely keep an eye out for it whenever i'm free i like to read up on on these these projects and cardano is a project that i'll definitely keep an eye out for i want to see the use case though when people actually using it it's not just about delivering something that no one cares about you know i think google glass was a massive failure it could do all these fancy things but no one wanted to use it so that will be that's what i'll end my section on cardano on they need to actually be able to deliver not just you know make fancy things that no one uses and there's no use case for they need to create something that people can use and um and going forward guys the sustainability but the third pillar is one of the toughest to to achieve especially in the, in the in the cryptocurrency market and we've seen how uh, things can get out of control so that is my fourth coin and this is another coin that i that i'll keep an eye out for again i said i own a lot of poly i don't really own as much cardano i'm more i mainly trade it not invested too much in cardano the the last coin that i'll talk about before i do it let's have a quick look at what ada is doing a lot of the charts are very very similar guys very very similar they're very they're in massive massive downtrends and they're dropping through all the floors it could cardano is at a level that i will be looking for a bounce you can see it doesn't want to go down now the rsi is extremely oversold having said they can easily break down and i'll sell what i'm looking for is get above this red zone it needs to get above this red zone and do something like this for me to buy and if you do this just simple thing again my trading course is very simple i don't want to make it complicated this is more simpler it is the better for for the new guys to learn and that is exactly what i'm looking to see in cardano but at the moment guys it's in a massive downtrend and we don't know when or if it will ever recover when we see stuff like this this is the trade that i took and it was a really really profitable trade 
uh, that we took in this group and then it's not just after the fact I posted it while it happened you can go check out my videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel it's a long video and um, the more likes and subscribes are great it motivates me to create better content for you I'm gonna bring a lot of research in and blockchains I'm talking to a few people now and I'm doing my own research myself and also guys turn on the notification button because if you don't want to miss out my videos with new youtube algorithm you might not find out i've released a video unless you create unless you turn on the notification button right to end this video i'll end with our last one chain link it's already rallied massively and you could say rocco you're talking about it now no I've, I've been talking about chain link from eight months ago you can check or seven months ago i talked about if you had bought it then you probably would you would fall in love with me because I gave you a really good tip again I'm not saying all of my predictions work but uh, chain link is one that worked extremely well I'm gonna read this bit and I'll talk a little bit about what chain link is trying to do and I'll talk about some negatives as well on chain link so chain link is a decentralized Oracle service which aims to connect smart contracts with data from the real world since blockchains cannot access data outside their network oracles are needed to function as data feeds in smart contracts Oracle provide external data example temperature weather that trigger smart contract executions upon the fulfillment of predefined conditions participants on the chain link network are incentivized through rewards to provide smart contracts with access to external data feeds should users desire access to off-chain data they can submit a, a requesting contract to Chainlink's network these contracts will match the requesting contract with the appropriate Oracle the contracts include a reputation contract an order matching contract and an aggre aggregating contract the aggregating contract gathers data of the selected oracles to find the most accurate result so you can just by reading this bit you can see how they're applying it to the real world and they've got a real use case we've talked about the partnerships they've got with um, with obviously google and there's potential partnership with samsung so there's lots of things that's going on they're trying to bridge a gap it's completely new and it's potentially it's got a use case in some of the people that are involved in the project is very very smart people um I've done a quite a bit of research on Chainlink from the start. So the guys that are involved, they seem to know what they're doing. They're advisors in different cryptocurrency. They've got experience in other markets and obviously in cryptocurrency market as well, which is quite important. They're not just new people to it. And the technology guys, you know, I talked about they're trying to work on chain smart contracts and off chain businesses and data uh, on chain infrastructure and an off chain inf infrastructure. The contracts include a reputation contract which checks an Oracle provider's track to verify its authenticity, an order matching contract which logs a user contract agreement on the network and takes bid from responsible Oracle providers, an aggregate contract contact which accumulates data from chosen oracles and balance them for an accurate result so again i won't read all of it i highly recommend you check my previous video out to find out more about chain link but what they're trying to do they're trying to take it to the next level guys at present Chainlink only interfaces with smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain but it aims to work with multiple networks in the future so going back to interoperability with you know different blockchains working with different ones and it's, it's not about competition it's more about working together and if if the, if you all can create something that provides value to the world you'll see the power of cryptocurrency and people finally accepting cryptocurrency and blockchain I think people already know, know the importance of blockchain but people will start to see the power of cryptocurrency so from buying and um, storing crypto chain link you guys should be aware of it it's an ERC20 token so you can store it in an ERC20 compatible wallet uh, <laughs> it talks about it here now and then i i bought link on binance but you know there's other exchanges i can talk I'll tell you guys some of the exchanges that it's on you can click markets to find out like i said i'm mainly using binance but there's other exchanges that you can use and it's more importantly on coinbase pro so that is a big thing to be on coinbase guys so uh, what is the uh, future of chain link the market cap uh, we talked about the ICO was held and uh, this is how much they've picked up the distribution guys 
the 35 percent sold in crowd sale would go to node providers and 30 percent token would go to the company for the development and cryptocurrency i like to see a higher ratio so talking about tokenomics i like to see more in crowd sale but you also want some people to be invested in it it's very difficult it's the different uh, approaches you can take you don't want too many to be huddled by the team because it's not really decentralized they can dump the coin on you and uh, one of the news i want to share with you is price manipulation when something gets so much hype it pumps very very hard and there's potential fraudulent going on with um, research content analysis of apparent suspicious linked token transactions which could have caused a pump and dump manipulation I mean it's not just chain link guys in the cryptocurrency market a lot of it is pump and dump most of it is but chain link the way it pumped was absolutely crazy it went absolutely berserk um, and these are the coins that you want to buy one or two of these coins can make you enough money for for the whole year really if you get one of these trades correct so market market captain go, uh, global acceptance guys is so creating supply and and how it's distributed i uh, did have a link on chain link guys on on google but uh, i think uh, this this talks about good this doesn't have google this link but i mean i've shared videos about with you to talk about what the google is this talks about the price and how it climbed into you know top 20 within a few months and it's performed extremely well it's got the swift partnership which connects over 11,000 financial institutions zeppelin is another part uh, another partner request network a cryptocurrency competitor which aims to become a standard for exchange of fiat with crypto and the london-based private asset firm signal capital are other partners it's slightly old guys it doesn't talk about google and um, if you guys are aware uh, chain link google i sold just before the google partnership and again it was very very disappointing for me to actually do it but you know you win some you lose some you can't win it all and uh, it was very disappointing from my point of view so this is a smart contract startup tapped by google as a blockchain partner this news sent chain link to to the status fair guys connect to any existing api seen widely used payments connect with other chains as well what makes Chainlink different from other cryptocurrencies? Chainlink is the first cryptocurrency which has attempted to bridge the gap between smart contracts restricted to blockchain ecosystem and the real world. So this is the main selling point. This is what you want to see. Smart contracts are pretty much inaccessible to businesses. Chainlink is allowing the oracles that Chainlink use do exist currently that they are centralized defeating the purpose of the decentralized smart contracts and blockchain. Chainlink makes the entire process decentralized and is the first cryptocurrency to do so. So you know the global market cap, what they're trying to do are Unix solutions, so investors may pick up this coin over the other similar services you know some of the other so if you look at the top five coins of pick guys i've uh, i'll summarize near the end let me finish ch uh, chain link link are used to run the chain link network tokens can seem interesting for long-term invested investment an opportunity particularly due to the low individual cost which tends to have a positive impact so guys i'd like to end this video to kind of summarize it so i talked about bat you know slightly different token i talked about polymath which is a security token i talked about an exchange based token i talked about ada you know the third generation then i talked about Chainlink. so i've talked about a few different projects and i could have had top 10 coins and maybe i'll make one if you guys enjoy it and if i get enough views for this but if you think about it guys you need to have a kind of diversified portfolio even in cryptocurrency markets so first of all i started the video by saying you need to have some money in bitcoin which i completely agree on then you could look at some of the other coins that i said and try to have a diversified portfolio so again that brings the video to the end i hope you guys have enjoyed it my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on chain link do you think it can have a massive pump what is your thoughts on bat what is your thoughts on cardano comment below if you want to uh, elaborate on something if you want to correct something i've said which is not probably true and if you're more of an expert in blockchain comment below and let's have a discussion to end the video my question to you guys is what is your favorite coin for 2020 comment below your favorite coin and let's all have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button it really helps me out a lot if you enjoy my content i think my content is not sold out like most people 
So if you enjoy my content, it's, uh, I try to provide different co uh, content than most other crypto channels, uh, a mixed trading analysis, news and my technical analysis. And I'm quite transparent. So I really appreciate if you could turn on the notification button. It really helps me out and motivates me to create better content for you guys. So thank you very much. If you want to learn more about trading and have a full trading course, check this uh, crypto education group out. I've got a full live trading course there and you can talk to me there if you have any questions. And guys, if you're interested in a free Facebook group, you can join our Facebook group as well. So thank you very much. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Go cryptocurrency!